So can you see how, if you're here on earth, speaking with spirits, how you need to be sensitive to the emotional condition and the emotional changes in you. The reason why is because they're so absorbed by their own life and that like, the earth life feels like, like childhood or even nursery and the sixth sphere, sixth sphere feels like adult, right? So would you go back to your child? No, it's very rare for you to do it. But there is one thing that draws them to you and that is your desire. So, for instance, you can have a feeling or a longing to speak with a certain spirit. That spirit will feel it. A six-fear spirit will get a message appear on their inbox, if you like. Does that make sense? And they'll know that you just sent them that message. They'll know where it came from. And whether they respond to you or not will totally depend upon their desire. Now, a divine love spirit will often respond because a divine love spirit is very interested in actually talking to people on earth and helping people on earth progress. So, like, uh, James has had, had a longing, for example, uh, for Gandhi to come. And the instant he had a longing for Gandhi to come, Gandhi popped in. And he had a short discussion with Gandhi. Yeah. And then uh, Gandhi left. James has, a, uh, James has had a long-term guide. You know St. Francis of Assisi? Yes. Well, that, that's James' guy. Now, St. Francis doesn't call himself St. Francis anymore. He just calls himself Francis. And he doesn't even call himself that in the spirit world anymore. But it's just for James' uh, benefit. But Francis actually influenced James before he got onto the Divine Love Path to actually go to Italy and visit the locations. And James had these feelings when he was in the city. Right? which were confirmational feelings from his guide. Right? And this was before James actually went on to the Divine Love Path. So these guys are often constantly influencing you. And it's only when they're a guide generally, if they're on a natural love or divine love path, that they're surrounding you on earth. Most of the spirits in the spirit world in the natural love path and the sixth fear never visit the earth anymore. And in fact, many spirits on the divine love path in the divine love spheres never visit the earth anymore. They visit other spheres where they have different feelings and they have different things that they're helping and different jobs that they do and so forth. So, so not all of these spirits come to earth, but your longing draws them. 